Hi, friends. <laughs> uh. Okay, so the reason I'm recording this is because my husband and I were having a conversation um, about being artists and how people from the outside looking in tell artists to get a real job and how disrespectful that is on so many levels yeah. because number one, sorry, my breath. You number one. Start <laughs> yourself. Yes. Okay. Number one, mm -hmm. art is hard work. Yes. It takes work yes. to make art. Yes. Right. Number two, I mean, we can come back. Right. I'm just saying things. There is not prepared. This video is not. We're it's just going flowing. off. The it was flowing. flowing. But I really wanted to capture this conversation because it's okay. Because when I think when people say it, they don't mean to be yeah. mean or disrespectful. Yeah. I think that the society really doesn't value artists. Mm -hmm. They value the art, but they don't value the artist, the person making yeah. the work. Yeah. And I think that people think like it's just like a frivolous thing or a quick thing that people do. Mm -hmm. When art takes time, it takes resources, it takes energy, mm -hmm. especially like art that is like feeling, mm -hmm. it takes emotions, mm -hmm. right? And so when you're telling an artist to get a real job, like one, you're disqualifying their art, mm -hmm. but at what point are they supposed to work on their art? Mm -hmm. Like if you enjoy an artist, mm -hmm. when are you supposed to enjoy their art? Mm -hmm. Like, are they supposed to get a full-time job? And for some people that works, mm -hmm. get a full-time job and then in their spare time create, but mm -hmm. why can't a person be a full-time artist? Yeah. Like what's what's wrong with that? Yeah. Um. So before you tell someone to get a real job, think about how that sounds. Yeah. <laughs> like that communicates to the artist. Your art is not good enough for you to be supported. Mm -hmm. I don't believe in your art. Mm -hmm. And also, why do we? Why do you believe that artists shouldn't be able to live full time mm -hmm. off of what they create? Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like. Yeah. yeah sorry. <laughs> no, no, you're fine. I mean, I think I think it's layered um, mm -hmm. for a lot of reasons. One one big one is. Sometimes people, like you mentioned, like can have good intention behind it. Mm -hmm. um, I think sometimes people do it out of response to their dreams being killed, yeah. whatever it may be, you know. So, and again, like you mentioned, like art, art of any form, you know, art and honestly, I would put art and entrepreneurship in yes. the same category because yeah. they require pretty much the same thing. Creative like, muscle. A creative muscle, and you're you're trying to create and provide something to an audience to meet a need. Yeah. So for an entrepreneur, it could be on a very basic level, I'm gonna make some t-shirts mm -hmm. and give it to people. Something I'm creating for them and that they find valuable and that they want to exchange currency for. Same thing with an artist, whether it's a painting, whether it's a song, whether it's acting, you know, whatever. I'm gonna create, I'm gonna share something with you that provides you with some kind of value mm -hmm. that benefits you in exchange for currency. Mm -hmm. And it takes a lot of that same energy, but because like you said, we look at art as just everywhere and it's not that big of a deal. It's not serious or that it has no like hard brick and mortar value. Yeah. So it's like, oh, it's not a bridge. Mm -hmm. It's not an escalator or you're not necessarily saving somebody's life. Mm -hmm. Even though there are lots of songs that talk about music saving people's lives. Hello. Uh, or art changing and saving people's lives. Yeah. But, you know, whatever. Because there's not that immediate connection, particularly within our society. Mm -hmm. Um people discount it, mm -hmm. you know, and they're kind of told that like, oh, that's, that's not, <laughs> that that's not, that's not important. Mm -hmm. That's not real business. That's for me speaking as a man, that's like a, not a man thing to do. Like you, you need to go out and work with your hands and do this and so on and so forth. Mm -hmm. I, I laugh because, you know, 20 years ago, people are laughing and saying, you know, parents were telling your kids, stop spending all the time on video games. <laughs> now mama look i made a million right. dollars from playing video games. <laughs> all they do and make a lot of money is yeah. play video games yeah. but that that kind of oversimplifies it which is the same thing you okay, okay. that uh that oversimplifies it the idea of just playing video games yeah. it's the same thing yeah. with art you know it's just like oh you just go and write songs or you just paint or you just whatever there's a lot of behind the scenes yeah. work that has to go into running an art Art, artistic or creative business mm -hmm. just like entrepreneurship mm -hmm. yeah you make t-shirts using this as an example but you got to go out and network you got to make sure you have all the business things you got to have do all of that work mm -hmm. to actually make sure your business is going mm -hmm. artists have to do the same thing mm -hmm. but because a lot of people don't see the value of that or mm -hmm. they don't know what it actually takes behind the scenes to run that business or to run a business at all because mm -hmm. a lot of times that advice comes from people who aren't entrepreneurial who aren't doing their own things they're yeah. really just part of you know doing doing 
what works for them because I don't, I don't want I'm trying to be careful I don't want to say something that like disrespects people who work no, nine no. to five or work any, any we need those people absolutely <laughs> we need all of it yeah we need artists we need entrepreneurs we yeah. need people who work jobs and stuff like that whatever but because you are looking at something that somebody else is doing mm -hmm. that you may not personally have experience with mm -hmm. you, you can't like you're coming on something you don't really know about yeah or again like I, I started some people because their dreams were dashed or because they were shut down yeah. or because they quote unquote failed um to pursue their dreams out of caution and out of trying to be protective and supportive of like no mm -hmm. you need to put that aside yeah it's not all malintention yeah, yeah exactly yeah, no and i think i think you said a few things that stuck out to me mm -hmm. like trying to keep track of my mind Sorry. no no you're mm -hmm. fine but one thing you said about like, um, okay, so I posted a video recently and I basically shared my frustration, how I was discouraged as an artist. And there were a lot of reasons why I was discouraged, but one of those reasons were money. Um, also, I lost my grandmother, which you can't, you know, uh, you can't fix, you know? Um, and just like the frustrations with be being at a creative block too, that's a whole other thing. But, in, and so in response, I think a lot of people were offering, hey, you know, get a job or whatever, or maybe finances isn't, isn't attached to your art. And, you know, and I understand what they were trying to say, but at the same time, my question is, do you not get frustrated or discouraged at your own job, like at a nine to five or depressed or like somehow mm -hmm. we blame entrepreneurs or creatives or say, just get a job and your life will be fixed. And mm -hmm. that's not the truth. It's just that some, sometimes <laughs> life is just hard. I'm you know sorry. what I mean? <laughs> what? I'm not trying to laugh. It's like, please don't lose your thought. But okay. it's just, I just find it funny that people say like, not everybody, mm -hmm. you know, I'm sure that's not the case for everybody. There are a lot of people who are like, you know, you need to stop doing what you're doing and just do what I do. Mm. But like, you're miserable. For some this people, is not, this is not this the people like, who yeah. I'm talking about. Yeah, but like, at all, you're but miserable. Yeah. Yeah. Like, you're telling people to get into the system yeah. and be a cog in the wheel and something that you want to get out of. Yeah. Mm. Like, why are you? I think doing because that? people see that as like the easy fix or like mm. the easy. But yeah. it's but it's almost like even with people trying to figure out being an entrepreneur or mm. creative preneur mm. or an artist preneur, whatever yeah. you know. Give people the grace to figure it out. Mm -hmm. Give people time. Like yeah. be like we live in a we live in a culture where yes, we're learning at fast pace, but mm -hmm. a lot of us are creating our own lanes, yeah. right? And so we have to figure out what that looks like, how we can honor ourselves, mm -hmm. how we can honor the people we want to serve, right? Mm -hmm. That takes work and that takes time. And just because someone expresses that they're frustrated does not mean that the solve should be just get a job, just give up and yeah. get a job and you'll be able to pursue your creative efforts later. No, let, allow them to be feeling, yeah. allow them to be human. Yeah. Like if you, if you're not an artist and you want, and you want to support people, do not tell them to get a real job. Yeah. Like, because one, you could say something better, like, have you considered maybe getting a part-time job to support yeah. your art? Yeah. That is something totally different than you saying, oh, get a real job, yeah. right? Because again, that disqualifies that disqualifies what they're doing as if it's not real. Mm -hmm. As if the music they're making, the writing they're doing, mm -hmm. the, you know, you see them slaving, not slaving, but you see them working yeah. for a passion that they're, mm -hmm. that they're really, that's really important to them. Mm -hmm. And then you come to them and basically tell them, oh yeah, all, that 10 hours you put in today working on that rough draft or mm -hmm. whatever it is, forget it. Mm -hmm. Like get a real job, mm -hmm. right? And then we also don't account for um, how exhausting jobs are in general. Mm -hmm. And so when you come home, you don't have no energy to do nothing else. Yeah. You know what I mean? And, and while people have the privilege of being able to pursue their passions and their dreams and stuff like that, just be supportive. Mm -hmm. Like maybe you don't have the answers and maybe you are thinking, dang, I just want, I just want them to get a job. But the, the people who are successful mm -hmm. allow themselves to fail, mm -hmm. allow themselves to figure it out, yeah. give themselves time. Yeah. You know, no one's saying it's going to happen overnight. Mm -hmm. but, I, but I think that... Um, I think that when you allow people time and you give them grace mm -hmm. to make mistakes yeah. and to figure it out and to become their own person, yeah. then their success on the other end will be sturdy. Like yeah. it might, yes, getting a job might be, I might be able to get a paycheck, what, three or four weeks from now, right? But for some people, pursuing their dreams is important to them. Mm -hmm. And then when they really follow through on that thing, maybe 10 years later, they're making more than they ever could at their yeah. job. Yeah. It just might take time. You yeah. know what I mean? Um, one more thing you said about value. We are not good at, a tr at, at, at giving value mm -hmm. to things. Mm -hmm. We are not good, um, what, is, what are the people that come into place? And they, auditors. Mm -hmm. We are not good auditors of what's valuable and what's not. Mm -hmm. Or we, appraisers. Appraisers, that's yeah. better, yeah. Like, and a lot of stuff that some people put value on mm -hmm. might not be valuable to other people. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah. You know, like even in in an artist expressing frustration or annoyance with like being broke, for example, mm-hmm. I'm gonna talk about that too because that's not normal. But um, an artist being broke, mm-hmm. you know, like some people might say, like, why do you want to suffer and struggle so much? Because their art is valuable to them. Yeah. Their message is valuable to them. Yeah. Them being a button up person and you know being respectable yeah. and you know using your quotes respectable to you yeah. might not be valuable, mm-hmm. and that's okay. Like it doesn't mean that they're a failure. It means that they're different. You all value different things, mm-hmm. or you know some people value their freedom more than they value you yeah. know having to clock into a nine to five every single yeah. day. It doesn't mean anything one's wrong. Mm-hmm. People are just different. I just wish that people respected mm-hmm. people's differences. Yeah. The next thing I want to say though, do you have anything you want to say though uh, to that? I think just I think it's interesting that. <laughs> Sorry, I'm I think it's I think it's interesting that even like you heard you saying like we don't value or praise things mm-hmm. accurately and I think that's true of society too yes if you're paying attention to the trends creative creative uh creative and maybe I guess what's considered soft skills mm-hmm. are now what's in demand mm-hmm. so like things shift so like this idea of hard skills and making sure you do stuff and build things or whatever and fit to the system mm-hmm. people are realizing more and more at least the industry is realizing like, oh, well, well we have to we have to actually connect with people. Yeah. So let's go ahead and hire these digital marketers. Let's go, go and hire these artists or content creators so that we can actually sell more of the stuff that we've been spending all this hard, hard skills on. And that's the thing. Like when the value shifts, the, the perceived value shifts, perceived value. then it seems like, oh, now it's important. Yep. And so now it seems, you know, because uh, I mean, that could be the case for us, like. 10, 15 years ago, nobody was thinking about being a YouTuber or a content no. creator. And now it's legitimate. And now it's legitimate. Yeah. Like some people are saying it's, and I've seen a couple of videos about this. Can I, can I shout out a content creator on your yeah. channel? It's your platform. So I'm not it's fine. It. We're all about supporting. <laughs> there's this uh, content creator, JT Automations. Okay. And he talks about different ways, different uh, ways to get into entrepreneurship. And he has one video that talks about um, becoming a YouTuber or a content creator versus going to college. And he mm. stacks up side by side the costs. Yeah. So how much would it cost your first year of yeah. going to college compared to maybe investing in equipment to start your YouTube channel? And he lays it out like mm-hmm. if, you know, if, if it was like a um, science fair project or whatever. So like everything stays the same, whatever, whatever. And honestly, your payout is better if you're being a content creator, if you're being an infopreneur or whatever. There are different names for it mm-hmm. now. Mm-hmm. And so a lot of people are now considering like well maybe i don't have to do this <laughs> like i don't have to follow this system yeah. this path and then even for businesses big businesses this big businesses being more interested in trying to hire freelancers mm-hmm. more than just getting regular w9 yep. uh employees because they're looking for something specific mm-hmm. mm. you know it's even considered like the gig economy now and all that stuff mm-hmm. so the society is shifting and changing but I think ultimately it's important that you do, like you said, you respect people where they are because just because um, somebody needs to go through that process mm-hmm. of figuring out what's best for them, you don't have to rush them along yes. and you don't have to try to like stifle them because you want to bring them back to reality. Mm. Because again, a lot of times f- from what I hear, it's it's very creative things that usually get stifled or yeah. shut down so yeah. whether it's whether it is entrepreneurship oh i have this business idea or i have this creative venture and i just need your help or just give me some time and i'll put it together you're like you just need to get a job yeah. stop stop trying to do that or i have this vision for this amazing book it's going to be the next harry potter or whatever you just need to put that down or yeah. i'm going to move out to la and i'm going to become a good great actor you no know, you just need to get a job yeah. or even sports or different things like that like there are so many avenues that yeah. go different or go um, that don't fit into like corporate America. Mm-hmm. That's uh, very often people are like, nah, mm-hmm. you shouldn't do that. Mm-hmm. Same even with being a YouTuber. Like I think um, I'm not name dropping him for the sake of whatever, but like Mr. Beast, he dropped out. If I'm not mistaken, he dropped out of college or whatever to fully pursue being a YouTuber. Mm-hmm. And now he's like one of the wealthiest YouTubers and all he does uh, and a lot of his content is give away stuff. Mm-hmm. Like he's one of the most generous people. And that's because he decided to say, I'm going to go all in mm-hmm. on this on thing, dream. on this dream, on this thing that I'm passionate about mm-hmm. that didn't fit inside of the regular mold. Mm-hmm. 
how much more would the world be different if more people did that? Yeah. If more people did those things. Sorry, go ahead. No, I agree. And to that point of Mr. B, somebody else did another video on like these YouTubers. It took them time. Absolutely. They didn't come out the gate no. making millions of dollars. <laughs> it took them years, yes. right? Yes. And so a lot of us, and this is for my creatives out there, a lot of us are killing our dreams. <laughs> what happened? The top was on? Oh, okay. A lot of us are killing our dreams because it's not happening in the time that we want it to happen. Mm -hmm. Your frustration is real, okay? Your worries Very are valid. valid. Your fears are real, right? Mm -hmm. your, your The anxiety you feel, it's real, right? Mm -hmm. But honor those feelings, but don't allow those feelings to lie to you and tell you that your dream is useless mm -hmm. or this will never happen. Mm -hmm. Or, you know what I'm saying? And I feel like, again, when we love people, we don't want to see them in pain. And yeah. so I think other people are like, oh, I want to save you. Just get yeah. this job. You know yeah. what I mean? I don't, I don't want yeah. you to struggle. I believe in your dreams. I believe in you so much more yeah. than your dream, right? Yeah. And so they're coming from the right place, but you have to make that decision for yourself to be like, no, I am, I, I'm committed to this. God gave me this dream for a reason. Yeah. I'm going to see this through. Yeah. And what I will say, though, is be open to how it manifests, though. Yeah. Right. Yeah. I think that sometimes we can be so, um, mm, so controlling, mm -hmm. like, you know, humans don't like not being in control. We, we love being our own gods. Right. Yeah, and so absolutely. we want it to work out that we want it to the way that we want it to work out. Yeah. But oftentimes it doesn't happen that way. Sometimes God gives us a dream mm -hmm. to keep us going, to start us going. Yeah. We might turn off somewhere else and end yeah. up somewhere else totally different, yeah, right? Absolutely. But you'll never get there if you don't listen to your dream in your heart. Yeah. But if you know for a fact, this is just a moment of mm -hmm. frustration. Mm -hmm. This is just a moment of like, you know, confusion, or maybe you just need to take a break for a second, for a day, for a month, whatever you need, mm -hmm. even for a year. There's some mm -hmm. people who take a break. Like, yeah. when, even when we look at other artists, mm -hmm. I'm kind of ranting. But even okay. when we look, look at other artists, especially like recording artists, mm -hmm. they don't come out with an album every year. Mm -hmm. They don't. Yeah. Like some do, but art takes time. Yeah. Social media is not created to support artists. Mm -hmm. Social media trains us as consumers mm -hmm. and artists that everything should be instant. Yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. The creation of art should be instant. It doesn't take time. Like it's it's all about like the look of something as opposed to the process of it or the outcome of it versus the process. Mm -hmm. And so what I love is following artists who are showing you their process saying, mm -hmm. Hey, this is like my studio vlog, right? Yeah. Um, there's, um, there's an artist I follow AO Ham Hammer, mm -hmm. Hammer. She's a painter. She's, mm -hmm. A brilliant artist mm -hmm. and I love that she shows behind the scenes and shares her frustrations or her you know things that she's going through because artists need to see like yes what I post like just think about this on Instagram all you can post really that people really want to see is the art yeah people don't see how much time it took yeah. they don't see like oh shoot I messed up here let me start all over again mm -hmm. they don't see you know what I'm saying even as a singer mm -hmm. people don't see the hundreds and hundreds of takes yeah. I do on one song yeah on one song, yep. especially if I'm doing a loop station because there is no editing. Mm -hmm. It's one way all the way through. You yeah. feel me? And so people don't see that. Mm -hmm. People see the outcome and think like, oh, all you have to do is make a song. Yeah. All you, It's like, oh, you just have, we talked about that. Mm -hmm. Just do X, Y, and Z. It's not mm -hmm. just when you're yeah. creating something from scratch. Mm -hmm. Like it's, it takes a lot, like yeah. the creative process in general, like artists need time to live mm -hmm. to be able to get ideas. Mm -hmm. They need time to experience life. They're not just in a box all day long pumping out stuff yeah they're drawing from their experiences from their life yeah. right and so if you don't have no life to live mm -hmm. then you don't have no experiences to pull from mm -hmm. and the art that you get is the art that's marketed now today where mm -hmm. everything sounds the same yeah. everyone looks the same right mm -hmm. because nobody has any time to live they're trying to survive mm -hmm. you feel me they're trying to get that signed contract so that they can come out of yeah. you know survival yeah. and um to, to talk about that I do want to say that we have been conditioned and lied to to believe that artists don't deserve fair. I don't I want to say fair, that artists don't deserve abundance. Mm -hmm. We bastardize art. Mm -hmm. We look at artists as less than, mm -hmm. right? Oh, you're an artist. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Right? Like, but art is everywhere. Unless, Unless. you're a famous artist. Oh, that part. Unless you're a famous artist, and a lot of <laughs> artists don't get famous until after they die. Yeah, so it reminds me of. Uh, you know when somebody's growing their hair out because I know you're like growing your so Lots. like for, for for black people if you know if you're like somebody's trying to grow their hair out yeah. there's that <laughs> ugly <laughs> stage ugly face so like even if you, if you had, every stage like, is beautiful so I remember <laughs> like being in middle school because I grew my hair out at one point but in middle school you know there's that point when you're growing your hair and you got cornrows but you ain't got nothing time <laughs> it's just yes, like right. it's like it just curl up right there yeah <laughs> 
<laughs> that's like people but that's don't appreciate good. but that's that yeah again that's, that's, that, that, that's that process yeah. but this can be the same thing with like an artist it's like oh you got that curl up stage. yes <laughs> it's like we can't really really respect you yeah. until you get some until you, you get some flowing locks yes you know and like mm. that's that's that thing like, because that's marketable right right exactly it's, it's not it's the finished product yes that's the, what you see in the, mm -hmm. uh, the beauty <laughs> the beauty stores yes like, oh you got the wake up on us like, yes. yeah <laughs> but that is that is that's a that's what's marketable like yeah. it's not sexy to sell yeah. this took work yeah. i had to record this song hundreds of times yeah. that's not sexy yeah. nobody everybody wants that instant like feel yeah. that instant success and as artists yeah. we know very and as entrepreneurs yeah we know very well and even people who work at jobs you know you know the first time you were learning the stuff on your job it took you time to get down the systems and like yeah. you know the protocols and all mm -hmm. these different things to learn people's names to understand what cer mm -hmm. certain acronyms meant mm -hmm. it takes time it's yeah. the same process with someone yeah. who is creating something from scratch yeah. they don't have the, the thing is you have a you have a book yeah. to say this is this is what you should do and it still took you time to learn right right, right. Artists have no handbook. Yeah, they have people they can right. emulate or people right. they can draw inspiration from yeah. and try to follow their footsteps mm -hmm. and it's all awkward, right? Mm -hmm. But there is no handbook. Mm -hmm. And and I think and I think that I think that we are uh enti we feel entitled to art because art is so available. Mm -hmm. And let's be real, places like Spotify, mm -hmm. places like YouTube, places mm -hmm. like Instagram, mm -hmm. TikTok, they all exploit artists. Mm -hmm. The only reason why these things exist is because of artists. Mm -hmm. Without the artists, these platforms would not exist. Mm -hmm. And so because Spotify pays 0.004 cent a stream, mm -hmm. we believe that that's what that person's song uh, deserves, mm -hmm. right? Like they're training us to to believe that, oh, you know, this music, it doesn't really have any value because Spotify is not valuing their artists. Mm -hmm. YouTube mm -hmm. is not valuing their artists. Yeah. And so because of these platforms, and, and it's almost like, but we ha like we it's almost like we have to choose we don't have to choose let's be real but but this is the way to go but this is not the end result of what i want like even for myself i love creating youtube videos i like creating podcasts and you know songs and stuff like that but the but what i'm the end goal for me is not youtube mm -hmm. <laughs> the end goal for me is not tiktok yeah. i want to own my stuff mm -hmm. i want people to come to me to buy my stuff because i believe mm -hmm. that if you find myself valuable mm -hmm. Then you can support me if you have it, of course, right? Like if you have it to give. But but I think again, these these platforms don't value artists. But then they do, right? They, it's almost like, sorry, I know all of the places, right. but they're convincing us, even the artists, that our art is not worth anything. That they're paying us a fair wage. Mm -hmm. But Spotify would not be a billion dollar industry without artists. Yeah. So they don't get an even cut of that. Mm -hmm. We're making all these other platforms rich, mm -hmm. and so other people, excuse me. Other people believe that, oh, well, girl, yeah. you don't deserve this. Just get another job. No, artists deserve to be paid. <laughs> and it's the, sadly, it's the same thing that happens to people who have jobs. Yes. Like you don't yes. realize like. It's the same thing. Yeah, it's all like, a plantation. Yeah. So say you have a job description at company A mm -hmm. and they're paying you whatever. And maybe you feel comfortable with that. It's like, oh, that's great. But then you hear somebody that does the exact same thing you do at mm -hmm. company B. And you're like, wait. Mm -hmm. Why are they getting paid more than me? Yeah, doing the same job or less. You know, and like the same thing happens to artists. Yep. You know, like they have to deal with that. They yeah. have to deal with like, oh, I, I put in hours and hours to get this song right, to get these things right, to get this this graphic just right. Yeah. And one company, company A, can be like, oh, yeah, we can use that and as a logo, da -da -da -da, yeah. whatever, and we'll pay you this much. Mm -hmm. And then you find out that company B or company C would have paid you triple that. Yep. Because they value it differently. Mm. And like they have to, like, Everybody has to hustle. Yeah. Especially in, I, I know you're well, talking about not, it. But yes, I understand well, what you mean. Yeah. Yeah. Like, not hustle in the sense of like, like yeah. But in, in regards to, <laughs> I, I was gonna, yeah, I was going to say, because I know you talk about it on your channel about capitalism. Yeah. Capitalism impact, Im, impacts everybody. Everybody. Whether you're a W9, 1099, or you're self-employed, mm -hmm. everybody is impacted by it. You know, like mm -hmm. everybody has to figure out how to maneuver in the system. Yeah. So it's like we really are all in the same playing field. We're just doing different things, mm -hmm. you know. But you, sorry, you're getting ready to say something. No, no, no. I, I agree with what you're saying, and and I think that issue that issue of value, mm -hmm. right? Just because one person doesn't see this as valuable does not mean it's valuable. Does not mean it's not valuable, right? right? Like, if I don't see the value in NFTs, for example, and I'm just using this as an as an example, mm -hmm. doesn't mean that NFTs are not are not valuable. Mm -hmm. If someone does not see the value in me, does not mean that I am I am not inherently invaluable right like that's not what that, that was a lot of double negatives but just because 
someone sees something as valuable doesn't mean that I will, doesn't mean that other people will, but they mm -hmm. do, right? And so the perceived value that you talked about, yeah. like that's important. Just because other people don't see the value in, in music or art or even like these corporations don't see the value in it does not mean it's value does not mean it's not valuable. Yeah. So when when an artist is expressing frustration that they are broke, mm -hmm. that they are working hard, yeah. that they are, you know, put like they be, they're doing work that they're passionate about and you believe in their art, support them. Yeah. Don't tell them yeah. like, oh, maybe you need to get another job. Maybe because you're enjoying their art, you should support their art yeah. because that's how like artists need money mm -hmm. to keep creating art. Yep. How was someone supposed to create art and they don't have a roof over their head, mm -hmm. they don't have their needs met, mm -hmm. right? But y'all want, y'all, we're so hungry for art and mm -hmm. for things to move us and mm -hmm. for things that are compelling and tell the truth. Yeah. The people who are telling the truth are not the people with the most streams on Spotify. Yeah. They're not them people. Yeah. They're lay people like you and me mm -hmm. who aren't run by, who aren't, who don't have a big corporation behind them, who yeah. don't have, you know, millions of followers mm -hmm. but if there's a, there's a rule that says if you have a thousand true fans mm -hmm. if they pay you um say even like fifty dollars mm -hmm. a year that's fifty thousand dollars you don't think your favorite artist who is not well known is worth fifty thousand dollars a year mm -hmm. for the labor they do mm -hmm. it's all labor mm -hmm. it's all work yeah. like yes i might not be clocking into a nine to five mm -hmm. but i am clocking into a nine to five yeah. you feel me mm -hmm. or an 11 to 7 whatever mm -hmm. it is however people can get it right mm -hmm. People like artists deserve to be supported. Mm -hmm. and, and, I, and I'm so passionate about this because even for myself, I didn't think that it was possible for me to be a successful artist mm -hmm. because of how horribly people treat artists. Mm -hmm. But that is a new concept. Mm -hmm. Back in the day, mm -hmm. artists, first of all, artists were prophets. Like I think about artists like Marvin Gaye mm -hmm. and like, where would we be without their art? Mm -hmm. Where would we be without their messaging, right? Mm -hmm. Like, and of course, like he had Motown behind him, but even yeah. Motown was trying to shut his ideas down. Mm -hmm. You feel like because it wasn't marketable, yeah. right? And it, and that's the thing about capitalism; mm -hmm. it kills creativity, mm -hmm. it kills anything that 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 dares turns its back on what is marketable. Like, mm -hmm. nah, I'm not out here, and I'm not, you know, pushing down anybody else who does it. But no, mm -hmm. I'm not marketing myself like most of the women market this, themselves in music. I'm not mm -hmm. doing. I'm not willing to do that. Yeah. Because that's not where my talent lies. Yes, I am a beautiful woman, Absolutely. right? But thanks, baby. Yeah. But I'm not. I'm not marketing my body to be consumed by people. I'm marketing my genius. Mm -hmm. I'm marketing my art. And mm -hmm. if you cannot respect my art unless I look like this certain package, it's not for you. Mm -hmm. It's above your head. Mm -hmm. It's too high for you, right? Mm -hmm. Like, what what is that line? Too like uh, so high you can't get over it. So low you can't get under it. Like it's it's like that line with Missy Elliott. She yeah. says, um, "Way too high to get." over me way too low to get under my skin yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. you know what i'm saying like mm -hmm. like y'all don't like you just don't understand like missy is just in a land of her own i love her so much yeah. because she's like forget the trends i'm doing what i want mm -hmm. and she's been successful being able to do what she wants right mm -hmm. and we hail these people who are like visionaries and art but they had supporters behind them yeah. to get them to where they are no artist is self-made mm -hmm. and they had to also work yes for a long time. missy worked for a long yeah, time and, uh, i think even in the uh I can't remember if it was like a documentary about her or if it was about mm. Timbaland mm, mm -hmm. talking about because I mean their their art collaboration, collab yeah. collaboration is, is very key but mm. like I think it might have been in Timbaland's like documentary or whatever but even Missy Elliott talking about it, like yeah like he would he would spend long time in his basement mm -hmm. just producing stuff producing stuff producing that's stuff, how you get a stuff. genius yeah until like his opportunity came yeah. with their collaboration for him to shine yeah and even for her to be able to do her own thing yeah but again nobody nobody likes that it's not sexy it, nobody yeah <laughs> nobody likes that part when the, the cornrows don't you ain't got no hang time <laughs> right you know? but yes. they appreciate it when it's down there yeah. but like they ain't they're not really no rock with you when it's right there they, they like to make fun of you they yeah. make, say give up this it's ugly they tell you everything about it but you got to push past that you know yeah. as Again, as an artist, as an entrepreneur, as whatever you're trying to do, yeah. you know, I would I would say patronage is important, right? Absolutely. Shout out to my patrons, I love y'all so much. Yes. Lo that low key, like I have all these offerings in my in my Patreon, and these people are literally just like, I just want to support you. Mm -hmm. I just want to help you so that you can have time yeah. to create the art, right? Yeah. Am I being able to pay bills with it? Some, you know, 
Some of it, yes. <laughs> a lot of them, no, right? I'm not balling, but, but at the same time, it goes a long way mm -hmm. because I'm able to put time into taking care of myself, taking I care see. of my voice, mm -hmm. um, taking care of my mind so that I can be in a place to be able to create. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And so back in the day, patrons were an important part of an artist's career mm -hmm. because without them, you would have no art. You would have no Monet. You would have mm -hmm. no, you know... I don't even know a lot of artist names, mm -hmm. but you would have no artists yeah. without any patrons. Or I think about like Outkast and them, like when they would be in the dungeon, right? Somebody had to donate a dungeon. Yeah. Hello? Like yeah, somebody's parent somebody, had to be yeah, like, say, yes. Somebody's mom's basement. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Somebody's mom had to be like, all right, I got all these men in this, in this basement. Yeah. Feed them. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like Get chips. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. it might not have been a lot, but it yeah. was enough for them to actually yeah. have time to do their thing. And the one thing that a lot of artists are missing is support. Yeah. That's the one key yeah. that could get them from here to struggling to thriving. Yeah. But, the, but the issue is that people, people want you, and this is one of the issues, I'm gonna just be honest, one of the issues I've had with Patreon, I've thought about like shutting it down and like whatever, because sometimes people feel like they have to offer the world, like I have to audition for your support and mm -hmm. um, always give you something more mm -hmm. um, to, to be worthy of your financial support, mm -hmm. right? But finances are just energy, mm -hmm. right? Like, I mean, we give money to things that we find valuable. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Like we pay for food we like, we we pay for entertainment we like, we get the car that we want, the house that we want. Mm -hmm. Um, And it's not unlikely you give your money to artists that you support and that you enjoy, mm -hmm. right? And so for um, on Patreon, I thought about shutting it down, but I did a poll in my thing and I was like, what do you want from me? Do you want like, you know, uh, secret music and like meetups and stuff like that? And while I still want to do some meetups and stuff like that, I have a group of people who honor my energy. They like, first of all, they probably busy too, <laughs> but they're also like, I want you to be in a place to create more. I want to, I want to get more music from you. So I'm going to give to you. Right. Mm -hmm. Excuse me. The problem is though, people, oh, what she want money for? I've seen people drag people for having Patreon all the time. You think YouTube is, pay is paying people's bills. Right. I mean, for some people they are, yeah. <laughs> but for small creators like myself, yeah. no, they're not mm -hmm. like, yeah. again, these platforms do not do not value the people. They value what the people bring to their platform. Yeah, the platform is getting more out of it. Yes, artists. yeah, literally. The platform, YouTube is getting more out of it than I am. I mean, I'm, I'm just a small creator, not just, but I am a small creator, so I know for them, I'm very low on the on the list of things to prioritize or people to prioritize. But at the same time, it's like, it's not, a lot, a lot of people are like, oh, you're, no, you're a YouTuber. Like, it's not really that much money, but it's like, people's art is their job. Mm -hmm. There are people who are supposed to be the artists mm -hmm. of this generation, mm -hmm. the prophets of this generation, mm -hmm. right? The people who bring people out of the dark mm -hmm. in this generation. Mm -hmm. And so if you feel moved by person, it's not even just me, but mm -hmm. other artists. Mm -hmm. I support other artists because I believe in the work they're doing. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, and so, and I also understand it. <laughs> like, mm -hmm. I get it, girl. Take this money, please. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, take this money because I want you to thrive. I want you to have be able to go another day without worrying about how you gonna pay a bill and actually create a song or yeah. a painting or, you know what I'm saying, or a portrait, whatever it is. Anyway, um, all that to say, like, if you have it to give, support. Yeah. If you want more art, support. Yeah. And um, I also think, and this is how I personally feel, I think we're also trained to like who we like. Like artists, okay, like, so like as far as like, okay, so like radio, for example. Mm -hmm. I think we're trained to see other people as worthy or more worthy than the other people who aren't on the radio or Absolutely. aren't in like the museums Absolutely. if you paint or, you know, take photos yeah. or aren't, I don't even know, or don't have a billion dollar like personal business, whatever it is. Like, yeah. right, we're, we're always in America made to celebrate the biggest and the baddest person. Absolutely. But it's like, there are people who also on the, you know, lower rung or whatever it is, whatever art form it is, mm -hmm. that have something valuable to offer. And if somebody yeah. would just give them mm -hmm. an opportunity, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? Yeah. There are so many artists you haven't heard about because they don't want you to hear about them. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. That too. Yeah. <laughs> you know? Yeah. How dare you love yourself and not, you know, how dare you sing about, you know, you know, I don't know. You know, the how dare you sing about America and how oppressive it is. And yeah. like, why would they promote that? Mm -hmm. Why would they promote that? Mm -hmm. um, I have a lot of thoughts, but especially as like an artist, I have a lot of yeah. pent up uh, yeah. <laughs> frustrations and things that I see and hear from other artists. It's like, no, artists, where do, where do we get off thinking that artists don't deserve to be supported for their work? Why do we feel so entitled to their work? And why do we feel like what they're doing isn't legitimate? 
if it moves you, if it makes you feel something, it's legitimate. Yeah. I think this is just a theory. Theory. Because, mm -hmm. I mean, we were kind of talking about this a little bit earlier today. Mm -hmm. But um, it's because the machines use art the way that they do. Thank um, you for bringing that up. Or even, like, yes. even, even, again, going back to entrepreneurship, because I think, I think there's, again, similarities. There's major similarities between the two. Mm -hmm. So you can have, for instance, if somebody knits you a hat, mm -hmm. They can do love and care and making sure they're finding the right fabrics, the right, um, what, what is it? Yarn, the right yarn mm -hmm. to put into the hat, you know, and that maybe the hat, because of all that stuff, because of the time, because of the, the things that they use, it costs like $30. Yeah. Or you can go to Walmart and get a hat that looks similar to it for $5. Without the same love and care. Without that same love and care. Yeah. Main, you know, in theory, does the same thing. Yeah. It covers your head and, you know, keeps you a little bit warm. Yeah. But because one has a machine mm -hmm. connected to it to mass market it, mm -hmm. it's kind of like, well, why would I spend $30 on a hat when I can get, you know, six mm -hmm. <laughs> for, for the same price? Mm -hmm. um, the same thing, I think, is with art. You know, you can go and stream a lot of stuff that sounds a certain way, yeah. but it doesn't necessarily have the same soul to it, mm -mm. you know, and that changes things, mm -hmm. you know, or we can talk about food, mm -hmm. you know, why would I spend $30 on this meal when I can get a burger and fries from, you know, this place over here and they got a five by five deal or whatever, you know what I'm saying? Like, but you know, not that, Wendy, <laughs> but you know, like there, there's quality, there's a yeah. quality difference. There's, there is, it, there's yeah. an impact that that's having, uh, mm. there, there's something that there's an impact that comes from one product that is missing in the other one. There's an energy difference. Right. Exactly. Yeah. And I think because of capitalism, because of corporations, because of the society that we live in, mm -hmm. it's easier to say, well, I'm going to get the lowest bargain for mm -hmm. the same thing. And, the reality is it's not the same thing. It's not. And, it could know, never be the same thing. Right. Yeah. right. I, do, I do want to say something, too. You said something about, like, um, so there's this thing going around, like, AI art. Yeah, that's the, yeah. Yes. Yeah. And so people have been, you know, using that stuff. I'm like, mm, yeah. I'm not I'm not really interested right now. Mm -hmm. But but I, you know, somebody posted it and was like, I'm so glad that the AI art can't pick up on hands. I don't mm -hmm. know if you've noticed in every portrait that people use that with, mm -hmm. where there, there are hands, it looks really crazy. It's like, <laughs> for real, like, yeah. it looks kind of odd. Yeah. It looked like it's. And so it's showing you that even AI cannot create art. Yeah. AI mm -hmm. is only able, that, that app is only able to create art because it studied mm -hmm. other real artists mm -hmm. who probably were underpaid, mm -hmm. underrepresented, mm -hmm. right? Like undersupported, underfunded. Mm -hmm. And now they're being trying to be replaced mm -hmm. by um, AI technology. Yeah. I don't think that'll ever happen. Yeah. I honestly don't. Like you cannot, you cannot create art mm -hmm. from... Art is something you feel. It's not something you can explain. It's not algorithms. Yeah. Art is not made for algorithms. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah. it's just it's just not like they can try all they all they want, but they'll always get stuck until they have to study someone else mm -hmm. to create a different kind of art, mm -hmm. right? Like, and so if if they, I really feel like it's funny because yeah. these these platforms and these uh, app people who what, who are the people developers, developers these yeah. app developers they create these you know these technologies, mm -hmm. but all the while telling artists that their art is not valuable. Yeah, I think it's it, interesting. To yeah, me. I think it's. And I'm sorry if we're going on tangents and away from. But I think again, it goes back to the idea of like particular corporations. Mm -hmm. I don't want to say it's all of them, no, but no, it's no. particular corporations who, like, at the end of the day, their goal is to make as much money as possible. Yeah. And so the idea, mm -hmm. even with developing AI art, because mm -hmm. AI, it's gonna it's gonna be here. Like that's that's it's the here. plan. It's, it's here, <laughs> and they're trying to use it for. All kinds of stuff. Yeah. Whether that's uh, AI and machines doing factory jobs. Yeah. Or I'm sure maybe you've been in a grocery store and you've seen a little robot going around mopping the floor or sweeping the floor. It yeah. freaks me out every time I see it, but they're trying to do that. When I worked know? at the hospital, there was one um, that delivered medications to the, to the doors of mm -hmm. people who were staying, who were like, you know... Um, in the hospital, like staying in the hospital, yeah. inpatient. And, yeah, and you know, so so even with like technology, even with the, the AI art, mm -hmm. and for those who, you know, may know, I do like voiceover work, there's work on AI voiceover and stuff like that to try to do all kinds of stuff. And even within that voiceover community, it's kind of like mixed feelings about it. It's kind of like, 
this is going to take our jobs. Like, what's the point of getting a voiceover if they're all, yeah. all they're going to do is now create these voices? There, there won't be a job for whatever yeah. for for people's actual natural voices or their natural acting ability and stuff like that. Yeah. Go ahead, you're gonna make no, I was just going to say, but I, I think there will always be. It might be a few. It might mm -hmm. be a remnant, yeah. right? Yeah. Uh, there's always going to be people that want the real thing. Absolutely. That yeah. appreciate the real thing. Yeah. Like there are people who like the deep cuts, the yeah. B sides, right? Yeah. Like. Like the people who want the warm feel, even mm -hmm. of music. Like mm -hmm. I've I've said this before. I prefer for my music to sound human. Mm -hmm. I want to hear the voice cracks. I want to hear the mouth noises. Mm -hmm. I want to hear the emotion in mm -hmm. someone's voice. Yeah. AI can't create that. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like especially if I wrote the song and I there's again there's a song called The Story by Brandy Carlisle. Mm -hmm. One of my favorite songs, not because it's polished and it's perfect, mm -hmm. right? But because her emotions, mm -hmm. like just pour. Yeah. out in this song like yeah. you know she believes what she's saying yeah and i think that can go for the same thing with voiceover yeah absolutely or art or yeah. painting you know what i mean like there's nothing like art created by a person because at the end of the day that's what i really believe you're an, I, I feel like everybody is creative let's start absolutely. there everyone is creative absolutely and i also feel like the artists they're like they're, they're the prophets because they are god's mouthpiece mm -hmm. i really believe that mm -hmm. i believe that the reason why we feel moved spiritually by art is because they're reflectors of the creator who is yeah. the ultimate artist yeah, and so there's nothing you cannot you cannot uh copy god mm -hmm. god mm -hmm. is mm -hmm. we are mm -hmm. because god is right so yeah. so for me it's like there's never going to be a time where people don't mm -hmm. like art or yeah. don't like art created by people is what no, i'm saying yeah, yeah. I, I agree and at, at the I'm agreeing with you and what I'm adding to it. Mm -hmm. What I was, what I was trying to get across is that even, you know, we're bringing a spiritual component to yeah. it. There is an enemy of, of our souls, of all of humanity that actually wants to take away mm. God's presence. And I think even through art, that's why even through art, even through everything. Like I would say even through corporations, this idea of like, how can we, take people away from the things that are really good mm. things that are inspirational things that have good energy that things that are helpful exactly mm. and then give them this gray mediocre uh sterile experience yeah again just for profit and the sad part is they're really good at doing that yeah, and yeah. and the masses us as consumers sometimes settle for it yeah you know like I'm sure, I'm sure I've, I've heard it from, from our, our elders. So like our parents or people older than us, even talking about say like Coca-Cola or Pepsi mm. for those who are fans of it, like it don't taste the same. Neither does Sprite by the right. way. And that's it's, coming from right. Like, right. Exactly. It's like, <laughs> so there's something like for those who've had these experiences are like, there's something different about this. Yeah. They don't, they don't like, they don't make them like they used to, mm -mm. but if they keep doing a mass marketing or mass export of it mm -hmm. sometimes people won't remember anymore mm. they won't care anymore because it's like oh this is just what it is like oh yeah. well it tastes fine to me yeah. it's like but you have have you have you tasted the actual over like ha have you had original coke or original coke from mexico right or, or something something better somewhere Hello? else and that's again if you have 80 percent of the market is this mm -hmm. it becomes very difficult to experience yeah. the 20 percent that changes mm -hmm. your perspective and mm -hmm. and so I, I would say even tying it back to that spiritual thing there's this song by this group called the arrows called um in the words of satan and the hook of the song pretty much is again it's supposed to be from the 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 perception of, of satan if you're if he if they were to be singing the song or whatever like why would i tell you that there's a god that loves you and so it lists all of these different things, all these vices and all these experiences that these tricks that he plays on mankind. Mm. And all the while, he's like, why would I, I'm going to do all this stuff because I don't want you to know that there's a guy that loves you, that cares about you, that wants, wants you to have the best experience of life. Yeah. It's the same way, in my opinion, it's the same way with corporations. Like, mm. I, don't, I don't want you to experience good things. I just want you to keep coming back and buying stuff. Money. Exactly. Like yeah. I, I could care less. Yeah. Or what is it? Couldn't I, could, care I couldn't care less. That's all right. Yeah. I was like, I couldn't, <laughs> I couldn't care less if yeah. what you're eating is actually making you sick. That part. I couldn't care less. Because if... you getting sick actually gives me more money. Right. You go to the hospital. Right. That's more money for me. Right. You know, so even as you're saying, as an artist, mm -hmm. as a mouthpiece of, of, of inspiration, of spirit, mm -hmm. of truth, mm -hmm. that's ultimately for the benefit of people. Yeah. It's the same thing with a lot of other stuff. For those who are really, really passionate about entrepreneur, entrepreneurship, 
at the end of the day, a lot of entrepreneur, entrepreneurs, their heart is to actually help people. Yes. Yes. With whatever it is. It's not know? frivolous or selfish yeah. or, I mean, like, and that's the thing, right? It's almost like we've been trained. Sorry, baby, I cut you off. No, you can, they, I, we've been trained. Sorry, just something you said. Like we've been trained to to believe that everyone who wants money for their thing are scammers. Yeah, that's not true. It takes yeah. money to keep things going, yeah. right? Like money is the currency. I mean, yeah. I'm sorry, it's yeah. ghetto here in this world, but yeah. everything yeah. <laughs> requires money. Yeah. And not saying that money is not important. Not saying whatever. Like I think we need to have a healthy understanding of money. Yeah. No, you should not be selling your soul, your spirit, your, all your energy, all your resources just to survive. Yeah. And also, you should be able to be supported in the work that you do. Yeah. If you're being diligent about your work, if you're being honest and authentic in your work, yeah. if you're really doing it to help people, like, yes, I enjoy singing, but my my number one, like, the thing that makes me feel the best is when someone comes to me and says, your music touched me. Mm -hmm. What you wrote moved me, yeah. right? Like, that is, that's like, yes, I'm on the right track, right? Yeah. But it takes money to keep that going. Yep. You know what I mean? Like, it, mm -hmm. it takes money for your favorite artist to keep making mm -hmm. art yeah. and like and they shouldn't have to live on pennies to make it yeah. where like why do we believe that mm -hmm. we wouldn't want that for anyone else yeah. and it's almost like it, unless the person is uh supported by millions of people like it's almost like we jump on the bandwagon mm -hmm. we we always gotta wait till culture says okay I'll, we'll give them the stamp of approval before we approve of people yeah you it's, get the hang time. Yeah, that hang time, exactly. And it's like, no, you're following great artists now. Mm -hmm. Like, there are amazing artists that I follow on YouTube, amazing yeah. entrepreneurs, yeah. coaches, just people sharing their lives. Because even their, their storytelling and sharing mm -hmm. their life, that is an art. Yeah. That is an art. Mm -hmm. People, teachers, right? Teachers breaking down lessons in ways that people understand, yeah. that is an art form. Yeah. Not everybody can do that. Yeah. I don't know yeah. if I'd be a good teacher. I'm sorry. You know yeah. what I mean? Like, yeah. you know, because some people have that gift and some people don't. Yeah, it's true. The the working true. of numbers, mm -hmm. that is an art. Mm -hmm. That is a gift mm -hmm. that people have. You feel me? Like, and so I really, I really believe that God is not um sadistic. Mm -hmm. Sadistic, right? Causing harm to people. Yeah. I believe that God gave us our gifts and our inclinations and our talents mm -hmm. to serve people. Yep. And so when you're serving people, does not doesn't that doesn't that deserve energy and service back mm -hmm. so that you can keep serving people? Yeah, a workman is worth his hire. A workman is worth his hire. Yeah. Like that's that's Bible. Yeah. So even when people from you know, shout out to all my Christians out there, when y'all be like, Oh yeah, like there's 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 holiness and suffering and in being impoverished, where does it say that? Some people do have the gift of poverty though. Mm -hmm. Um the or the that's not poverty, the gift of well, something okay. either way, like there are some people who are called to do that because of the work that they're called to do in their life. It's yeah. not just because like, oh, I yeah. want you to be poor. It's like, yeah. no, you going out here and serving these people might require less money yeah. than you need. Yeah. You feel me? And so, again, stop telling people they need to get a real job because I, I know people say it and they mean it with the, with yeah. love and kindness and respect. And they just yeah. want to see them win. Mm -hmm. How they win is not stuffing their dreams down, mm -hmm. putting it on a shelf. Mm -hmm. Where people are not served, God is not honored, and their soul is not is not um, thriving. Mm -hmm. Because there is something, when an artist is in flow and yeah. creating their mental health is better, their physical yeah. health is better, yeah. right? Like, it's serving self, too. By yeah. being a conduit yeah. by which God moves through, mm -hmm. you're able to get some reap those benefits, too. Yeah. But when people are out of alignment, that's how you get crotchety. That's mm -hmm. how you get anxious, yeah. depressed, yeah. angry. A lot of people have sold off their dreams because in hopes that they're, that this job or this, you know, sure thing yeah. would give them what they're needing and they're miserable yeah. and they're sick. Absolutely. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And, and they're mean. Yeah. You know what I mean? And I just, my goal is that people would start to see the, the true benefit of artists. This is art. Mm -hmm. This design is art. Mm -hmm. This water bottle is art. Mm -hmm. My hair mm -hmm. is art. Mm -hmm. These glasses are art. Mm -hmm. The dentists that work on my teeth are artists. Mm -hmm. Like literally using things mm -hmm. to mold and shape things. And like, that's yeah. art. Yeah. Everything is art. Mm -hmm. And so why like, and also be real. What would your life be without the art that you enjoy? Mm -hmm. What would your life be without music, without reading, mm -hmm. without um, hair mm -hmm. stylists? Mm -hmm. What would your life yeah. be without the car that you enjoy, without, yeah. you know, the socks that you love or the clothes that make you feel good, yeah. right? What would your life look like without art? Mm -hmm. And not saying you have to support every artist, you don't. Mm -hmm. 
If you don't like the artist, you don't have to support them. Yeah. But I do feel like if everybody was generous, if everybody really saw the value in people like they say they do, mm -hmm. nobody would lack anything. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. You ain't got to be a millionaire, but you also don't have to be impoverished to be an artist. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? My goal is not to be a millionaire. Mm -hmm. I'm not interested. Mm -hmm. I don't, I don't, I am not interested in being a millionaire. If God gives me a million dollars, I'm giving half of that away. Cause I don't need that money. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Probably more than half. I don't need mm -hmm. all that money to live a happy life for myself. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And you have people chasing that money, chasing that, chasing that dollar, that, that number, mm -hmm. instead of chasing what's really in their heart to do yeah. because of what we place value on. Mm -hmm. yeah. But if artists, if we told people it's okay to be an artist, it's beautiful to be an artist. Yeah. There'd be way more artists. Mm -hmm. There are people afraid to own the title of artist. That's that's exactly why my title is Alicia Renice, the artist. Mm -hmm. Because I'm giving myself permission to be an artist, to stand mm -hmm. in that truth. You know what? I am an artist. Mm -hmm. There's nothing to be ashamed of mm -hmm. or embarrassed about. Yeah. Because I grew up believing that it was embarrassing. Mm -hmm. Unless you're famous. Yeah. Or super, super wealthy or yeah. well-known. Yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah. no. I am an artist and I am valid today. And if you're an artist watching this, you are valid today. And if Absolutely. you're a supporter of an artist or a patient of an artist, Absolutely. bless you, yeah. right? Yeah. Bless you because you keep art being able to be made. Mm -hmm. yeah. Literally, you change the world. As a patron, yeah. you change the world. Yeah. You allow the world to be touched and changed in ways that it could not be if you did not support these people. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. <sighs> okay. I think, do we say everything we wanted to say? Uh, yeah, I mean, I, I think I wanted to re reinforce something that you said earlier sure, yeah. about the idea of like being careful about mm -hmm. how you offer that advice. Yes, 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 um, yes. To people, because how you say things definitely matter. Because you can say something, and a whole dream is killed, and then somebody is never wow. the same. Yeah. You know, um, so like our words are heavy. Yeah. So like even the idea of like, s sure, you may see somebody or know somebody that it would be beneficial for them to add a little extra income mm -hmm. to help them mm -hmm. make their art, mm -hmm. how you present it to them. Mm -hmm. Not like how you mentioned the idea of just saying like, oh, just quit and just get a job. It's like, yeah. no, like how about maybe you can do the final part-time situation so that you can have more time to make your art. Or double your prices. Right. There's, <laughs> that there, part. Are, there are other ways that you can make more money. Yes. You know? um, but, or, or instilling, sorry, just to interject, no, yeah. instilling something in that, that can build their confidence as opposed right. to tear it down. So like right. you saying, huh, Excuse me. you're a musician. Have you ever thought about teaching music right. to people who want right. to learn other ways as an extra form of income? Yeah. 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 No, no. I mean, but just that, like yeah. that I, because I mean, I don't, I don't really care, but like, <laughs> I, I know there's, there's pushback gonna mm -hmm. come it's like well what about it was like well no you can still be supportive of people and then mm -hmm. actually help them to make um beneficial decisions for have them have you donated to them there's that so I, I, I don't mean no harm yeah. but if you love the people you say you love and you have it to give of course not if you don't have it yeah. if you have it to give have you bought some of their music or their yeah. art or their yeah. have you spread the word about them to your friends like yeah like even if you don't want to buy their stuff like word of mouth goes a long way yeah word of mouth is the best way to promote something or to yeah. um advertise something because yeah. paid ads but no like if 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 jamal gives me a recommendation for something mm -hmm. i'm going to trust his recommendation because he knows me right, right? he knows what i like mm -hmm. and i trust him yeah. <laughs> so like if you tell your friends about an artist that you know and support Spread yeah. it. A lot yeah. of us are keeping our mouths closed about a lot of people yeah. we enjoy. And I'm in my next video, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to create a video. These are people I support mm -hmm. that I really enjoy, whether yeah. they're creators or makers or yeah. storytellers. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah. Sorry, but no, you're fine. That's yeah. what I'm saying. No, I, I agree. It's just, again, thinking of different ways to actually support people and mm -hmm. not because we don't need, we need more dreamers and doers, not yes. people who are living in great mediocrity and like suffering along in life mm -hmm. we need more light we need more uh people being more of who the most high has called them to be yeah and you know less zombies we yeah. need we need more people alive you know so yeah. like for, take before you tell your 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 child or your friend or whoever or your parent or, or your parent or whoever mm -hmm. uh, about giving them advice on their their passion Mm, Again, whether it's passion. whether it's art or entrepreneurship or whatever, mm -hmm. be careful of how you're communicating to them, mm -hmm. um, so that they can uh, keep doing their thing and make yeah. a productive decision. Because again, sometimes people need to go through the process themselves. Yes, you know. Yeah, and yeah. ask them. Get consent before yeah. you offer unsolicited unsolicited advice. Yeah, like that's true. You know what I'm saying? Like sometimes people just need to vent. Yeah, there are times when I come to Jamal and just like. 
vent and like I think it's his nature to be like I want to fix this and I'm mm. like I don't need to fix anything I just need to vent yeah and I feel better like just being able to your feelings are valid I hear mm. you yeah that does wonders for people right. <laughs> or I've been there before mm. or I understand where you're coming from yeah. and then like if they're in a different place maybe not in that moment mm. you know what a couple of days ago I was thinking about a conversation a couple of days ago I have some I have some ideas if you're willing to hear them yeah. that's a different kind of, kind of conversation versus yeah. like coming to a person while they're in crisis mm -hmm. and being like let me help you. Your dreams suck. Yeah. Go get a job. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like they already feel like yeah. maybe there's something I'm doing wrong. And you saying that could be confirmation that they should just give up, which yeah. is which might not be yeah. what God wants them to do or yeah. what they want to do. Maybe they're just annoyed yeah. because we get annoyed at ev like in every such in our relationships, at our job, mm -hmm. driving, mm -hmm. right? Like we we are easily irritated people yeah. because like we don't like being uncomfortable. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. And so even. When you're pursuing your passions, and this is for my artists out there, every day ain't going to be roses and sunshine. And listen, maybe I need to start sharing more of the art process because I need y'all to understand it's work. Mm -hmm. It's work. And it's not like, it's not hard labor. Mm -hmm. It's just, it's just work. Yeah. And everything, sometimes work is uh, frustrating. Sometimes mm -hmm. work is not what you think. Sometimes things turn out the way that you don't think they're going to turn out. Then you got to scrap the whole idea and mm -hmm. start over. Like, it's work. It's yeah. energy. It's time. It's resources. And and I'm and I'm trying to be careful to not deter people from pursuing their dreams and yeah. stuff like that. Um, but just understand what you're in for. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like you're gonna have bad days, and that's okay. Yeah. It don't mean your dream sucks. It don't mean you're a failure. There's a video on, on my YouTube channel right now where I'm crying, talking about I'm discouraged mm -hmm. because I was emotionally overwhelmed. Mm -hmm. Like I'm trying to sing this song. I'm trying to write a song. I didn't have my voice back. You know, I had COVID. Mm -hmm. Um, towards, you know, the middle of the year, my grandmother passed and, you know, I was mourning her death for a long time and, mm -hmm. you know, and I was talking about money too. And money was like one of the things that kind of triggered that emotion in that, in that moment, mm -hmm. you know, you're applying for grants, you're applying, you know, for these jobs and stuff like that to come through and stuff just don't happen like that. Even applying, yeah. I've applied for nine to five jobs and I haven't heard back from any of them. You know what I'm saying? So it's, yeah. it's like, it's not a quick, quick fix. Like sometimes in the moment. You're broken hearted mm -hmm. and that's all you need for that moment. Mm -hmm. It's just self acceptance for where you are right now yeah. to be like, I see you. I'm yeah. sorry. Mm -hmm. I hear you. Yeah. Here's a safe space for you. Yeah. You know what I mean? Um, yeah. So, I mean, I guess this message was for the artist mm -hmm. first, mm -hmm. um, for the patrons and then also for the people that might not support artists like that for mm -hmm. real or who don't get it. Yeah. Um, and it's okay, like if you're not an artist, and you don't have to, you don't have to get it to be supportive. Yeah, there are things I don't get. I don't get, I don't get why people would want to be mathematicians all day long, but they love it. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Yeah. And hey, yeah. shout out to y'all. You know what I mean. But it doesn't mean I have to poo poo on your dreams and be yeah, like, absolutely. being a mathematician is stupid. Yeah. No, mm -hmm. that is what. Mm -hmm. And and also again, just I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. Why is it always the creative arts that are always looked at as like frivolous or extra? But like no one's saying that, like when you said that, that um, music doesn't save your life or whatever, or, or um, art is not like life saving or whatever. Yeah. Not like being a doctor. Or something. Not like being a doctor. I disagree. No, yeah. that's. Right. Uh, no, no. Yeah. I, I agree with what you're saying yeah. in that the pressure is not on for us to have to like revive people from oh, the yeah. dead, like with our, you know, physical yeah. skills and yeah. knowledge. But, mu but music, art, mm -hmm. design, acting. Mm -hmm. Directing, videography, photography, mm -hmm. cartography, mm -hmm. like all of these things are life changing. Yeah, absolutely. All absolutely. these all these things we have the luxury of experiencing, especially in America, it's so widely available because of these exploitative exploitative um platforms. Mm -hmm. But all of it is there's nothing like when you're in a sad mood, putting on a sad song and hearing the words of someone saying how you feel. Mm -hmm. There's no other thing like it. Mm -hmm. There's nothing like going to a museum and sitting in front of a painting like, wow. Mm -hmm. Like just being in awe mm -hmm. of an image mm -hmm. or seeing an actor like, you know, play a role so well, you forget you're watching a movie. Yeah. But you come away with that, with life lessons. There's mm -hmm. something powerful about art and it's so powerful that people try to harness it and control mm -hmm. it, mm -hmm. even with AI systems. There's something, mm -hmm. and they know, they would not put energy into something they know that's that powerful yeah. or beneficial. Yeah. They would not waste their time trying to destroy the artist yeah. and make the art themselves yeah. because they know how powerful and valuable it is. Yeah. You know, so understand if you're a maker, a, you know, a dreamer, mm -hmm. 
you're a world changer. You're a lifesaver. Yeah. And you could change someone's life if you just keep going. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You like you know the difference between when it's time to leave a dead situation versus when you're just tired or frustrated or annoyed. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like those are two different feelings. Mm -hmm. You know those two different feelings. Don't give up on your dream just because it's not in the place that you think it should be right now. Mm -hmm. Keep going. Yeah. And I'm saying this to myself too. Keep going. Yeah. Don't stop. Even if it's one, one small step a day. Mm -hmm. Keep going. Your yeah. dreams are legitimate. Even if you are working a full-time job, keep going or part-time job or whatever it is or having to, you know, do things yeah. that I you don't necessarily want to do. Yeah. Keep going. Yeah. Keep going. Work. Let your job, what is it? Let your job be your first patron. patron. Mm -hmm. Let that paycheck go towards the stuff that you actually want to do. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, so yeah, I think we said it. <laughs> this is a lot longer than I thought it was going to be, but yeah, um, shout out to all my artists out there, the makers, the patrons, because again, you, without y'all art would not exist. Mm -hmm. Um, shout out to the supporters, even if it's just, and again, patron could be, you know, money supporter, but it could also just be a person spreading the message, Yeah, a person sharing a video, a person, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Sharing a song or like, share and subscribe. A lot of share, like share, subscribe. <laughs> a person liking, sharing, and subscribing. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like that. That's also how you support um, the work, and so that more work can come. Yeah. You know. Mm -hmm. So no matter where you are, you can support the arts. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Liking is free. Mm -hmm. YouTube is free. I mean, well, yeah, it's not, but that's another conversation for another day. Yeah. It's free to you as a consumer as long as you don't pay for it. You know what I mean? So like, yeah. just support, just like them so that they can po possibly get boosted in an algorithm. You yeah. know what I'm saying? So more people can see. There's that there are people who, and I'm gonna say this as a closing thing, but there are people who say, and I've literally seen them say, oh, I don't share my hairdresser with other people. I don't share my, um, my favorite artists with other people. I don't share, you know, the person who, you know, cleans my car with other people because they're trying to hoard that for themselves. Mm -hmm. But by you not sharing, you're limiting the time that this person can stay in business. Yep. They can't be your hairdresser forever, sweetie. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? If you if you don't share the wealth, mm -hmm. how else are they supposed to keep their business going? Yeah. Yeah. So with our selfishness and our lack of understanding the art and you know what I'm saying? Like mm -hmm. lack of understanding how much work and effort actually goes into and time actually goes into making art, like we're not only cutting off ourselves from the art because if you don't support your favorite artist, your artist is going to stop making music because they can't, they can't sustain it. It's not sustainable. Yeah. Um, but also like you're also going to stop them from being able to do what they want to do and other people mm -hmm. from being impacted by that same hairdresser, that same barber, yeah. that same tailor, whatever, you know, whoever that person is. So yeah. this is kind of a rant, but I felt the needed to record. I was like, we got to record this because yeah. no, stop telling yeah. people to get a real job. Like, yeah. That's so disrespectful. Yeah, that's true. It's so insulting mm -hmm. and it's so heartbreaking and yeah. dream crushing, mm -hmm. soul crushing. It's like, well, dang, I thought this was real. Yeah. yeah. I thought my music was real. Yeah. Me, you know, rolling around as a photographer on the ground, taking pictures of people. I got grass stains on my shirt. Yeah. You telling me my art's not real? Yeah. Then what am I doing all this for? Yeah. So yeah, life and death in the tongue. Be yeah. sure that you're speaking life. Yeah, absolutely. All right. Absolutely. Anything else you want to say? Peace. Yeah. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, y'all. I thought we were done. This might have to be a part one, part two kind of thing. Um, whatever. Or I just might upload the whole thing. The second, the one thing I do want to say is when people talk about like prices and stuff like that, why does it cost so much? And da da da, -da. like when we are talking about the materials or whatever, yeah. like this isn't Target. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like this is not a corporation. This is a person. Yep. One person. Yeah making something specifically for you, mm -hmm. for their audience, right? Mm -hmm. They don't, again, they don't have the corporation behind them. Mm -hmm. They don't have these things. So you're, you're holding them to a standard of target Yeah. and you're unforgiving. You're like, you're demanding stuff right now. You're impatient. You're all this stuff because yeah. we're so used to instant stuff because it's supported by corporations. Yeah. This is one person mm -hmm. or a small operation of five people. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like we have to, it's not even that we have to lower our expectations. It's not even, it's not even that we have to not be so entitled to mm -hmm. people's time and they're they're rushing mm -hmm. you know what i'm saying for us yeah. like we're so used to amazon prime coming mm -hmm. in, in two days that you mm -hmm. can't wait two weeks mm -hmm. for you know something that was handmade and mm -hmm. tailored for you specifically yeah. Yeah. to come to your front doorstep yeah. it might take two months to make yes yeah. they might have to go to a whole different country to get the to get the product to yeah. get the to get the um fabric yeah. 
You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But we're so entitled that we think like, oh, well, you ain't do it yet, so. Yeah, absolutely. You know what? Give me my refund. It's yeah. like your money, like when people used to ask me, what am I paying for with photography? Like, why is my photography so expensive? Mm -hmm. I'm paying for the camera. That camera was a thousand dollars. Let's start there. Mm -hmm. My time, mm -hmm. my eye that I develop over years, mm -hmm. years of practice, yeah. my editing skills, because it's not just me shooting and giving you the photos. I'm editing, I'm correcting skin and color and mm -hmm. all these different things. And yeah. for some photos, even using Photoshop and it's a whole other beast, right? Yeah. You're not just paying for the end result product. Yeah. You're paying for the process. You're paying for the materials, the insurance of that materials. Mm -hmm. Hello? Like it's operating call co operation yeah. costs mm -hmm. are a thing, especially yeah. for small business owners. Yep. And so I would just say, have more grace mm -hmm. with people who are small business owners, yeah. give them more time. Mm -hmm. It yes, it might cost more, but it's mm -hmm. handcrafted for you with yeah. love. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. You can't get that at target. Yeah. You can't like, and if you cannot support them financially, then don't, yeah. right? Then then don't, but don't disrespect them by saying, why am I paying this for this? It's not even all that. You don't yeah. have to do all that to not support somebody you don't want to support. Yeah. If you want Target, girl, go to Target down the street. Yeah. But you want this person because there's something about them specifically, about their eye, their attention to detail, mm -hmm. like their design of, of clothing, which is a whole other world, mm -hmm. right? The, 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 the operations of, of sewing machines and mm -hmm. the risk in that, being like stabbed in the fingers. Like mm -hmm. I've seen my mom sew on a sewing machine. That don't look fun. <laughs> It doesn't look fine, yeah, no, no, but there are true. people who do this work and it's manual labor, mm -hmm. right? And so we need to honor and respect people mm -hmm. for the things that they do. Absolutely. Okay. I agree. That is my TED talk. <laughs> Thanks for coming. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>